Hi Sagittarius viewers. Um, today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and just seeing where you're at and what's going on in your life, um, particularly in regards to love. Last reading we did, there was something, there was a message for musicians and artists about, um, kind of trying to remember what the message was. That was the last Sagittarius video I did. I think it was about, um, creativity and kind of standing on your own more and and bringing your own ideas to the table and sticking to your ideas and um, manifesting those and just making those grow and, and putting your creative energy into them instead of going along with um what other people wanted to do with with music or art or whatever it was i just got this energy that it was some kind of creative art um and then let's see where, where were we at with your love life i'm trying to remember um I think the energy I got was that you are, this is, you know, it's not going to apply to everybody, but for, for, but for the majority of the Sagittarius viewers that I'm channeling in this um, video, you know, if you're drawn to this video, there's a reason for it. Um, I think the message I was getting was that there was some type of karmic energy. There was somebody that would kind of just hit you up when they're lonely and bored, um, but they were very hot and cold. It was like a very, I don't even know if you could call it a relationship. I think it was just it was some kind of weird situation where it's like they would message you when they're drunk or lonely and bored or horny or whatever, but then you wouldn't hear from them for a while. Um, and then on the other hand, you had this soul partner that you kind of took for granted. And that soul partner was either, you know, was or, or has moved on um, to some degree. Like they were kind of just tired of being taken for granted and not being seen um and that person it's sad because that person is actually a soulmate or a twin flame whereas this other energy was more like a karmic i just i just keep getting this i just keep getting this energy of like late night texting like somebody just getting drunk and you know saying oh i miss you come over and it, then it's like you don't hear from him for a week after that or two weeks after that you know like that kind of just hot and cold back and forth energy. And I think that person actually had um, a partner or an ex or someone that they were messing around with too. So they were kind of playing the field and they had a bunch of different, they had a lot of shit going on and they were not a very stable person at all. Um, and, and so they weren't, yeah, they, they weren't really making you happy. I mean, they weren't committing to you at all. They were just kind of hitting you up when they got lonely and bored or whatever, or hitting you up for a booty call or that kind of energy where it's like they might say they miss you and then, um, you know, ignore you and go mess around with their ex for a week or something. It was just really chaotic energy. Um, and yeah, and then you had, you had the soul partner too, but I think that from what I got from the last reading, the soul partner was kind of, kind of holding space for you, but kind of done waiting at the same time. Um, I'm getting this like really bittersweet, nostalgic, just kind of sad energy from you guys right now. I'm trying to pinpoint if it's you feeling like that or if it's this other person that's feeling that way. Also just take the energy how it resonates. Like for most of you, I feel like you are the ones that took this soul partner for granted. Um, but for some of you, that role could be reversed. It could be that they took, they had this soul deep connection with you and they took you for granted. And, um, and now you're kind of moving on from it and they're the ones that are nostalgic and starting to realize what they lost. So take that how it resonates, um, whatever role you're in, you know, that energy always, um, it just, just take it how it resonates. Energy is tricky like that sometimes. <laughs> And then, you know, if that was the case, then you would probably be the one that's that's talking to somebody else that's um, just kind of putting you on hold, basically, or just hitting you up once in a while for a booty call or whatever, or hitting you up when they're lonely and bored. And then on the other hand, you have this soul deep connection, but they also took you for granted. Or, you know, maybe that you're someone's, this person's taking you for granted, and on top of it, they have this um, person that's hitting them up randomly that's kind of messing with their head and that's part of why they're taking you for granted because they keep going back to that energy but I don't know it's well we'll see what the cards say about it so for the Sagittarius viewers what is your person here I'm gonna pull some I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to pull from 
What is your person thinking, feeling? What are they wanting with you right now? What do you can you tell me about this situation? So for the Sagittarius viewers, tell me about their love life. Tell me what's going on there. Tell me what's going on with their love life. Sagittarius viewers, what is going on with your love lives? What is going on with your love lives? I just keep getting a nostalgic energy. I'm just trying to figure out if it's you or if it's them. Okay. Denial. Success. The moon. Movement. See, because I don't want to read those backwards. I didn't mean to put those backwards. All right. So we have denial, success, the moon, high priestess of fire, movement, fulfillment, invisible. So you could be dealing with another... Um, fire sign, or you could just be in your fire fire energy right now, you know, passion, um, power, that kind of energy. Okay, I hope this re reading does not get too confusing for you guys, because I feel like there's two different groups of Sagittarius viewers that I'm channeling in this video. So for some of you, again, for some of you, you are the one that took this person for granted, and this person is starting to move on from you. Um, and for others, this person took you for granted and you're starting to move on from this person. So take it how it resonates. But it's like there was this energy of, you know, denial. It's like reaching for something that they just couldn't quite have. It's like they wanted it, but they just, it's like they just, they kept telling themselves everything was okay and that they still had you, but it's like they didn't, you know what I mean? Like they tried to, it's like one of those situations where it's like, you guys are hanging out every couple weeks and either you or them is like telling, you know, telling them, telling yourself or themselves that, um, like, oh, like you just need time. Oh, they're just scared of getting hurt. They just, they, they'll come around eventually. It's, it's that kind of energy. And they, you know, this person... I'm just because I don't want to keep going back and forth and confusing you guys. So, so for most of you, I'll just say it's probably them. Um, you know, they got out of this energy. They succeeded. They they stopped. They got out of the denial, and they're like, okay, this person is clearly not wanting me. They're not really doing anything, and they started using their intuition, the moon, and getting in their fire energy. You know, passion, power. You know, just being themselves, basically, just getting into that 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 confident energy and moving forward, and you know, trying to find their fulfillment. And they are finding their fulfillment; like it is coming to them, but they still kind of feel invisible to you. Um, they still kind of just feel like you're not seeing them. Like you don't. I don't know. It's it's a really tricky energy. I was wondering if it's both of you, because I keep going back and forth. I'm like, did you guys both take each other for granted? Like, why is this reading so confusing? Because I swear, like, my other, all the other Zodiac readings I did were not this confusing. So I'm like, you guys are dealing with some shit right now. <laughs> like, you guys are dealing with some shit. I don't know what, but... <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull some more cards, and I'm just going to try to be a little bit more specific with the cards. And so I can give you guys some clarity here. Yeah, maybe you guys were both taking each other for granted. Because it's like somebody's feeling invisible. Somebody's feeling like they're not being seen or heard. And they like, they just, there's just like this very sad, nostalgic energy there where they're like, why did you not like realize what we could have had? Why did you not see me? Why did you not get me? But this energy at the same time is like moving on. You know what I mean? It's like that energy is not trying to put themselves in that anymore because they're in the high priest of sapphire energy where they're like you know what like i know i deserve more than that i know that i'm like i don't have time for that shit. i don't have time for emotional unavailability i don't have time to be taken for granted i don't have time for neglect i don't have time for any of that like i want my king or my queen you know i want my other half i don't want somebody who's going to be a pussy um 
So it's just that kind of energy, but somebody is really feeling nostalgic and sad about it right now. So if this is a person that was taking you for granted and then let you go, it's like they are really regretting it right now. They're feeling that that regret. There's just that sense of regret. Um, but yeah, let me get more specific. Okay, so for the Sagittarius viewers... Um, again, I'm channeling two groups, which is why this reading is so tricky. So sorry about that. My last Sagittarius reading was not nearly this complicated, and I'm sure the next one I do um, towards like the end of the month or like um, beginning of May, it's it's probably not going to be nearly this tricky. But I guess you guys are just in some really sticky energy right now. Um, all right, so Sagittarius viewers. So what is? Let's see. Let's look into this. What is your person? thinking or feeling. So I'm putting the intention in. I do not want to know what the Sagittarius is or thinking or feeling. I want to know specifically what is this person thinking and feeling about you for the majority of, again, take the energy how it resonates, but um, for the majority of the Sagittarius viewers, please show me what what is their person, you know, ex, current partner, whatever it may be, however it plays out, what are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling? So the Sagittarius viewers, what are their, 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 their person, what is he or she thinking or feeling about this, their Sagittarius right now? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get out of this tricky, complicated-ass energy. <laughs> Justice. Okay. The lovers. So again, that's why, I think that's why, again, that's why it's getting complicated because I really do feel like like most of you took this person for granted but there's a few of you where it's going to play out the other way where they made you feel invisible and they took you for granted and now they're regretting it but for a lot of you i think you guys are the ones that are feeling that sadness and pain and regret for taking this person for granted and not seeing what you had but don't worry we'll, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out together no worries <laughs> Hmm, it's interesting. Let me see what this card is. Page of Wands, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a very back and forth energy for some of you. See, I feel like this person feels like you really wronged them, but I don't know. For some of you, it could just be that this person plays the victim a lot and they could be a little bit toxic like they could just blame you for everything and so it's like oh you did this or you said this and there could be some miscommunication where it's like they feel hurt by what whatever happened however that relationship ended or however that's going for you right now whatever whatever this energy is they feel like you are the one that betrayed them they feel betrayed they feel um hurt by whatever happened maybe there was some miscommunication maybe they just weren't getting it i don't know it's it's really tricky energy but it's almost like they wanted like revenge like they wanted justice like they wanted the truth to come out about something it could be like cheating for some of you involved i feel like there might be like this energy of like cheating like you cheated on them or they cheated on you there's just that energy where it's like somebody just wanted justice like they wanted like the truth and they wanted almost like revenge like they wanted they wanted you to see how much they were hurt they wanted you to like really get in tune with that energy and with the lovers here it's like you see the lovers and then we have the eight of cups right here so this is somebody that's like beckoning you to um come you know escape and start a new life with them it's like a new journey you know feeling dissatisfied by this old past energy and just wanting to leave and start over with you and that kind of is connected to the lovers card where they're just like you know, saying like, come with me, like, let's, let's move past this together. Like, let's figure this out together. Let's start over together. Um, and it's just this, like, they're trying to be cute and sweet and get you to notice them. I just sense, I sense a lot of pain. So I'm trying to figure out if it's you or them. I'm sorry. It's so confusing. I, I guess, like I said, I don't know why I keep going back around in circles with it. I guess you guys are probably going in circles and I'm probably channeling you guys going in circles and being, you know, you, you or them being confused. Um, but like I said, it's, it's like, it's, it's, there's two groups of people. That's what's making this, I mean, it's just, it's a tricky reading. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully the next one will be more clear. But with the page of wands, um, you know, this is like a new start. It's like potential enthusiasm. It's like this spontaneous energy, like this, like run away with me, start over energy. 
like let's do this together i love you kind of energy it's, it's just romantic and sweet and it's like this person was trying to get you to do that and they thought that there was this new start here they thought that there was this like new love and this great potential there and then it ends with the nine of swords so not so much <laughs> not so much <sighs> See, this person is just devastated. They are heartbroken. They thought they had, whoever this is, whether it's you or them, they thought they had this beautiful new start and they had all that enthusiasm and passion and wanting to run away with you. And then it just came crashing down and they realized it's not happening. You know, this is like fear and this is, this is worry, like fear of getting hurt, fear, fear that, fear of being happy, fear that it's always just going to end up being the same shit if you let yourself be happy. Um negative beliefs, you know, that kind of energy. It's just like this nightmare. It's like this person is just, they're heartbroken. You see, it's like this very nostalgic, heartbroken energy here. Um, hmm. But it's a really back and forth energy where it's like, they're still kind of holding on to that hope for the two of cups for this, like this love and reunion, but they're heartbroken. But you know, I do get the same energy that I got before. If this is if this is them, for those of you that where, that it resonates that way, um, I do get the same energy that they're trying to be strong and they know what they deserve and they know that you did them wrong and they or they feel that you did them wrong. Whether you did or didn't, they feel that you did. They feel betrayed by you. Um, they feel really heartbroken and hurt by whatever happened between you guys. If it was miscommunication or whatever it might have been. Um, and they're trying to be strong and they're trying to remind themselves what they they want out of a relationship and they're trying to you know tell themselves that you're no good for them and they're trying to just they're trying to just be strong they're they're just trying to to move on from it and and meet people that are um you know that want them that appreciate them that love them fully and with the two of wands it's like they do kind of go back sometimes and they feel this nostalgia and, and look at this thing that is kind of dead in a way or they see it as dead, at least. They see it as something that's over. Um, and they're trying to be more logical and practical and grounded and kind of think about the long term. Like, okay, well, this person, you know, probably would have left eventually anyway, or they, this would have happened or that would have happened. Like, they're, they're, they're not doing it with this, this energy. And so, again, for some of you, this could be you, where you're not, you're the one that's not doing it with this energy, where, you know, they took you for granted too much and you're moving on. Um, but yeah, this energy, but then you know, there's still the nostalgia there. She's still looking at this skull. She's looking at this thing that's dead, but she's looking at it with longing. She's looking at it like, why does it have to be dead? Like, why didn't this person appreciate me? Um, why did it happen like that? You know, why didn't they fight for me? Why didn't they step up for me? Um, there's just, it's that kind of energy. So let me pull some more cards. So let's see how you guys are feeling towards them really quick. I put the intention in of not reading any of these upside down. How are you guys feeling? How are the Sagittarius viewers? What are you guys feeling towards this person right now? Denial, okay. <laughs> Fledgling. Obedience. Hope. Grove, interesting, okay. I almost feel like you just want this person to, like, man up or, like, woman up or whatever. It's like, you're in denial, but, like, you want this new start. And then it's like, there's, like, this obedience, this person that's just kind of, like, like, blindly doing what they're told and, like, not fighting for what they want. And you have, you know, it's like you have this hope that you're going to be able to, like, retreat together and have this new start together. So it's, yeah. Um... What action is your person most likely going to be taking towards you over the next, like, couple weeks or so? What action are you most likely going to be taking towards you? So for the Sagittarius viewers, what action are they most likely going to be taking towards you? Three of Wands, Three of Swords, 
Yes, do they do feel, they feel like they were hurt. They feel like they do feel hurt by you. Hmm. Hmm. You know, with like the threes here, I almost feel like somebody did get cheated on and they're not willing to let it go. Um, which, may, I mean, that, you know, cheating is a big thing. You know, that's, I understand um, if it's you or them not being willing to let that go. That's a lot. Um, hmm. But it's like, look, the emperor is looking back at this energy and like, you see these two women, you see how like serious she is. Like, it feels like somebody that he, he feels fucked him over again. For some of you, you probably didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like some of you probably did, but there's also some of you, I feel that probably just this person might've just played the victim and miscommunicated with you. And instead of taking a responsibility for their their half of it, they just blamed you and just said, oh yeah, she, she or he just screwed me over. And, um, you know, that's that, like, she didn't care. She fucked me over. She played with my head. It's that kind of energy where they're telling themselves that story. They're telling themselves that you betrayed them. You let them down. You hurt them. You did this. So take that how it resonates. You know what I mean? You know, like for some of you, Maybe that's just how your masculine is, where he just kind of plays the victim no matter what. And it's like, maybe you didn't even do anything wrong other than just miscommunicate with him and set boundaries and not tolerate his shit. And maybe he took that as rejection. And so he's feeling heartbroken and betrayed right now. Um, so, so again, take it how it resonates. But yeah, with the Three of Wands, it's... Um, It's almost like it's like this conquering spirit, like this fighter, but it's like not in a good way. It's like that's kind of how he's viewing this energy right now. And he's just seeing this person as somebody who completely ripped his heart out and someone that, that he or she gave everything to that, that just ended up betraying them in the end. I almost feel like this person was too rigid, though, because I'm looking at the emperor and it's like he's serious. And it's like, yes, he did feel... It could be like a military guy for some of you because I get that kind of I get that military kind of energy with this person. So for some of you, probably not going to resonate for a couple of you, but um, because it's like, look, he's looking back at this energy, which is you, and he's like, that's my security, you know, that's like my, it's like his, it's grounded, you know, you see that, you see how like strong the emperor is, and he's like, he's looking back, and that was like supposed to be his foundation, and he's like, oh shit, that wasn't my foundation after all, that ended up hurting me and betraying me. But the emperor is also very strict. He's very set in his ways. He's very stubborn. It's it's an authority figure or somebody who wants to be an authority figure. Um, and he's just very controlled. So I'm almost wondering if maybe for some of you, you were just too free spirited for him and he didn't like it and he couldn't control you. And he didn't like that he couldn't control you. So now he's throwing himself a pity party and feeling bad for himself. Um, because you wouldn't let him control you. So, so again, take it how it resonates. Um, trying to think. Really, Kitty? Really? We're going to do that right now? So I'm looking at the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is all about abundance. Um, right share. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, Thor. <sighs> so, King of Pentacles, that's like, that's a man who's like stable and grounded and he's focused on finances and careers and hobbies and his success. So I almost wonder for a lot of you, if this was just like a personality difference that couldn't be worked out. Um, hmm. I don't know why I'm just getting that energy for some of you. It's really, it's really interesting. But with the world card, it's like they're feeling like the sense of completion, like they're they're trying to complete this cycle. You know, that's what the world is about. Um, it's like a goal being achieved. And it's like that's kind of where their, their head is at now, focusing on career and abundance and finances and trying to achieve their goals in the material world. And not so much when it comes to love, but just focusing on themselves and, and bettering themselves and, and developing their careers and doing what they want to do in their life. I don't know why the Elton John song, I'm Still Standing, just started playing in my head. That's interesting, too. <laughs>
So again, I apologize for how complicated this reading was. I feel like I told three different stories, actually, not even two. My guides were like, oh, let's let's tell this other story because there's this other person watching it and they need to hear this. And I'm like, okay, let's make this reading more fucking confusing than it already was. So yeah, for for a couple for one of for one group, um they took you for granted and they had somebody else on the side that was kind of messing with their head. And now they're regretting it and they're wanting to come back and they feel this nostalgic energy and sadness. Um, for the majority of you, I feel like they feel like you betrayed them, like you hurt them. Um, and you're kind of feeling that nostalgic energy and you're trying to think of what you can say or do to make this relationship right. This friendship or this romantic relationship, it's for some of you, it could be a friendship, but for a lot of you, it's probably mostly, most likely romantic. If this is your masculine, that would make more sense. Um, but it's like, yeah, this person is just trying to think of how they can, ugh, you know, move on from this. And it's like, you're the one that's trying to, to figure out how to make it right. Um, and you're the one that's nostalgic and realizing that you lost a really good thing. But there's also a third group, which I feel that, because for some of you, and I'm not going to call you guys out, but for some of you, I do think some of you might have cheated on this person and they're not willing to let it go. Um, but again, that's, you know, that's your business. I'm not going to like judge people for that or call, call them out. Each person is on their own path. You know what I mean? That's it's your, your decision to make. It's that's all between you and your masculine. It's up to you. Um, but there is a third group where they feel like you fucked them over and you actually didn't like you didn't for that third group. You didn't actually cheat on them. You didn't do anything to hurt them. You just miscommunicated or they were like a military person or there was somebody that was kind of more strict and more controlled than you and you were more free spirited and there was just this personality difference. Um, and I keep getting this like military energy or somebody who's kind of like somebody who would be in the military, someone who's very like set in their ways and very strict and controlling and not very free spirited, kind of like a very boring doll person. And you got bored and you just... You know, they just couldn't control you. And so they, they look at it as you fucked them over because you wouldn't allow their bullshit or because you moved on from them um, when you were bored and you just weren't, weren't having it. Um, and now they're trying to focus on this King of Pentacles world energy where they're, they're trying to focus on themselves and, and move through this. So again, three different groups that I channeled here. Um, yeah. God, that was a complicated ass reading. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. I hope my next reading is not like that because I can't do this again today. <laughs> I hope I did not confuse the shit out of you guys. I really hope I didn't. Um, let me see. I do want to say that I, I, I do want to say that I think for a lot of you, there's some type of closure that's needed that either you need or this person needs, and it's like they're. Like, to move on to the next, to either get this relationship going again or to move on with your lives, I feel like some heart-to-heart -heart deep conversation is needed. Like, there's no closure between whoever this person is. There's no real closure between you guys. And it's like somebody is wanting closure so that they can either... Somebody is wanting answers. They're wanting to talk. They're wanting to understand. They're wanting to communicate better with you. Um, and so it's like there, there's just that energy where it's like if you guys want to, whether it's them trying to move on or you trying to move on, um, like that that serious, deep, heart-to-heart -heart talk, honest, open communication needs to happen. Um, and you got to be honest about how you feel and who you are and what you want. And again, for some of you, I think this this is you guys are trying to have a new start together and you guys are being stubborn and not talking. But for a lot of you, I think it's just like it could just be closure, you know what I mean? Where it's like, they just, they just need answers. There's just this stagnant energy between you guys. And it's like, okay, figure it out. Like talk, you know what I mean? Like talk and figure out if you guys want to work this out and be together and be in a relationship or, you know, give each other closure so you can both move on. Cause there's just this very stagnant energy. And it's like, you guys don't have a relationship, but you don't have closure either. You're just kind of stuck. So you guys really need to figure that out. Um, yeah, you really need to figure that energy out. Um, let me see what else I can get just really quick. Whew. 
Okay, so what is your final advice? Because I keep being drawn to these cards for you guys. So from Sagittarius is watching. And I mean, you might still have a chance with this person, you know what I mean? Like they do feel fucked over and they do feel like you're not great for them and that you're never going to treat them well. But it's like, for some of them, they do feel love for you still. They do still have that like nostalgia and that like those memories of good times. It would just be... They just won't deal with half-ass apologies. They won't deal with you half-assing it. You'd have to be all in or all out. You'd have to come charging in, like, the chariot kind of energy where you just come, char like, chariot energy, basically, yeah. Like, you would have to come char charging in. You'd have to beg for forgiveness. You would have to put a lot of time and effort into making it right for this person to really trust you again. Um... But each day that goes by, this person is guarding themselves more and more from you and saying, you know what, this person fucked me over. Screw that. I'm not going back to it and opening themselves up to other people. And again, I'm not judging you guys because I'm sure for a lot of you, this is just how your masculine feels. And maybe he's playing the victim and, um, you know, there's just miscommunication and he's feeling sorry for himself when he needs to, he needs to get where you were coming from more, um, but however, however it plays out, he does, he or she does feel um, betrayed and alone and rejected by you. And, and so it's really up to you. Um, again, it's going to be different for each masculine, of course, or feminine, how you um, fix that. But it's, it's something very intense that has to be fixed. And if it's not fixed, it will lead to this person just being lost to you forever, to be honest. Like this person will eventually, they might not, they might not be there yet, but they will get to a point where they're, they'll never look at you the same again. I'm sorry. I know that's, that's harsh, but I'm just warning you guys for those of you that are like, oh, should I apologize for what I did? Uh, you should. If you want this person back, you got to apologize like now. And some of you, I'm not, I'm not going to tell, sit here and tell you that, you know, some of you are not going to get rejected because some of them will tell you, you know, screw what you did. But a lot of them, I think, will be open to hearing it if if you really make a very strong case for yourself and you really show them through your action, your words, your energy, through all of it, through everything, you know, giving 110% of yourself to them and committing to them, then then there is, for a lot of you, I do feel there's hope. Not for all of you, but for, for a good chunk of you, I do feel that there's hope there still. Um but again, every day they're getting more and more to the point where they're just like, fuck this person again. And I'm not saying that's justified. I'm just, I'm just letting you know, know what the masculines that I'm channeling or the feminines that I'm channeling, what they feel. So what is your final advice? So if this is your reading and you know you wrong somebody, then I would, I would talk to them, even if it doesn't, I would just talk to them because you know you need to. You know what I mean? Like you know that you need to get out of that stagnant energy. So I would I would just talk to them either way and just just clear the air with them. Um, that's just my advice. But again, you know, full disclaimer: I am not responsible for what you guys do or don't do. My readings are for entertainment purposes only. You make your own life decisions, so you are fully responsible for what you do or don't do or say with with you know the people in your life and in your life in general. And um, you're fully responsible for your actions, and, and my reading should never be substituted for any type of professional advice or, or otherwise. Um, all right. This is a serious energy. Damn, you guys. It's trying to have a happy, cute reading, like a cute little, oh, your, your Prince Charming is coming in. He's going to come sweep you off your feet. Like, where is that fucking energy, you guys? <laughs> I hope we can move out of this energy so that a couple weeks from now when I channel you guys, I get something better. So screw this reading. <laughs> yeah, surrender defensiveness. It's, it's a sign of weakness. It's not a sign of strength. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear somebody out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So don't just respond to respond. Really listen to this person. Listen to what they feel. Listen to the the energy behind their words, too. You know what I mean? I think there's a lot of pain there, whether they've shown you or not. There's a lot of pain there. Sort of denial. Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision. So, like, take off that mask and just see it how it is. Um, and surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. 
Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's a, this is for those of you that kind of have some control issues to work through. It's talking about those. It's talking about working on those. Surrender resentments. You know, who hold, let go of who is right and wrong and, and decide. Do you want your pride or do you want love? And, and again, there were three different, at least three different stories that I told in this reading. So depending on what story was yours, um, you know, choose between pride and love. Choose between... Um, you know, fear and love. Choose, choose what you want. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to figure, try to forgive others for their shortcomings, and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Um, so let go of who was right and wrong, and just, just figure that out. You know, you, you, you and this person need to figure it out. You really do. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So this is for those of you that, you know, this person was the one hurting you. It's like saying, surrender that energy. You don't need that anymore. And hopefully in the next reading, I'll have some, some better advice for you. I mean, hopefully in the next reading, I'll not some better advice, but some um, new energy for you, like new people coming in. Because there are a lot of new soulmates and, and like Twin of Flames and that kind of energy coming in right now. Like there's a lot, of, a lot of new love coming in and a lot of old relationships being pushed out. So hopefully that will come in soon for you guys. Um, allow the love, and for some of you, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure, you know, and I don't want to say it hasn't, but um, so surrendering to receiving support and love. So again, choose between pride and fear and, and love, you know, like, do you want love or what do you, like, what do you want? Allow the love and support of others in um, rather than trying to handle everything by yourself. Like, stop trying to be so strong all the time. You know, if you can trust this person, then trust them. This can take the pressure off and sim simultaneously nurture you. Surrender so stubbornness. So again, if you need to apologize, and, and for those of you, you know who you are, then just apologize and just do it for yourself. Don't even necessarily do it for the other person. Do it because it's right. Do it because it's what you want to do. Do it because you need that clarity and you need the answers and they need the answers and you need to move forward either with or without them. You need to get out of the stagnant energy. So surrender the stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you and communicate, uh, let me see, what does it say? This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and with yourself. Surrender to setting limits. If it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships, practice expressing your needs. And remember that no is a complete sentence. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good advice for you guys. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you. And again, I'm sorry this energy, I'm sorry this was confusing energy and chaotic energy and that it was... Um, so serious. This is a very serious energy between you guys, whoever this, this is for. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, hopefully the energy we get in a couple weeks from now is a lot lighter. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can get yourselves out of this stagnant energy and, um, and move forward finally from this in one direction or another. I'm, I'm hoping that for you guys, for you guys, for sure. So um, if this resonates, please subscribe to me, um, like a comment, let me know what's up you guys. Thank you.